If you're here, you probably have a really tough choice to make. Do you choose the red pill or the blue pill? Door number one, door number two, or door number three? Do you wait for your crush to ask you to the dance? Or do you accept the first invitation that comes? These are really hard choices, and I'm gonna tell you today how to know if you're making the right one for you. We're gonna play a little game called the intuition game. <laughs> Hey, I'm Mallory. I'm a teen therapist and I love making mental health videos like this for teens. So one of the things that makes me a little bit different of a therapist is that I really believe that all the kids that I work with already know what's right and good for them. It's my job to help them hone in to what I call their intuition. You may call this your gut, your inner guide, whatever you want to call it. It's a part of us that always guides us to the right choice. So remember, our minds want to believe what we tell it, but our bodies t help us tell the truth. You're probably sitting there like, what the heck are you talking about, Mallory? Let me tell you. CBT, or cognitive behavior therapy, is based on the idea that our thoughts, our feelings or emotions, and our behaviors all interact and influence one another. It's one of the core foundational aspects of any behavioral therapy. And let me tell you, the mind-body connection is really strong. It's so strong, in fact, that sometimes our messaging and wiring gets a little crisscross. So today, I'm going to play a game with you that my own therapist taught me when she was talking about this concept. I call it the intuition game. You're going to want to go grab a piece of paper and something to write with so that you can track your answers as we go along. You're going to need them later. So to play this game, I'm going to give you a series of choices and you are going to choose the one that you most prefer. So there are a few rules to this game. One is you must choose between the two options that I give you. Now this is not your favorite and if you can't decide or you want to choose something different, you just go with whatever you most prefer. So say that I present you the options of chocolate or vanilla. Even if you're favorite is strawberry, you must choose between chocolate or vanilla. Don't put strawberry. And the next rule is that you must make a choice. You can't choose both. So some of these you may be able to readily answer. Some of them are going to be a little tougher. All of that's okay. You ready? Here we go. Chocolate or vanilla? Red or blue? Summer or winter? Coffee or tea? Square or round? Puppies or kittens? Stars or moon? Rock and roll or country? Vampires or zombies? morning or night. Got your answers? Awesome. I knew you could do it. Tell me, how did you know those were the right choices? I know a lot of people say, I don't know, it just felt right. I just knew it. That's your gut, your intuition, your inner guide, letting you know that your choice aligns with what you know is true already for you. So we're going to play one more round of this and we're going to change it up a little bit. This time I want you to lie. I'm going to present you with the same choices and this time I want you to choose the one that you least prefer as though it is the one that you most prefer. When I asked you what your preference was, puppies or kittens, let's say you chose puppies. This time, I want you to choose kittens and just see what happens, even though it's a lie. All right, here we go. Chocolate or vanilla? Red or blue? Summer or winter? Coffee or tea? Square or round? Puppies? or kittens, stars or moon, rock and roll or country, vampires or zombies, morning or night. How was that? 
it probably felt a little bit weird, right? I know the first time that I played this and I had to lie, I could physically feel like something in my body was trying to stop me from saying the words. It was like this weird feeling, it just felt gross, like shot up from my belly all the way up to my throat and was like, don't say it. Now, you may have had a different physical experience, but I can pretty much bet that we all had some physical response, especially to the ones that we felt really strong about. That is your gut, your inner gut, your intuition telling you that what you were saying did not align with your truth. It did not align with your values. It did not align with what you believe. And it's trying to keep you from making a bad choice. So the next time you have a tough choice, go ahead and check in with your gut and see what it has to say about it. And if you like this video and you want to learn about changing your negative thoughts to positive ones, go ahead and check out the video on your screen right now where I'm talking all about belief ladders. And make sure that you share this video because you never know who it could help. Thanks for watching.